Hi, this is Start 3D Modeling Channel and in this video I will show you how to create grooves on a cylinder. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any new content. We will create a new solid here. Let's start by creating a circle. Select the circle tool and set the side plane. Draw a circle whose center will lie at the origin of the coordinate system. Enter a diameter of 100 millimeters, that is, press the tab key and type 100. OK, let's close the construction plane view. Based on this geometry, we will create an extrusion. Press the 3 key on the keyboard to switch to face selection. Select this area. Here, the extrude command has been activated. Next, press the D key to specify the extrusion length and type 20 millimeters. Then press enter and enter again to finish. Next, select the circle tool again. You can do this using the keyboard shortcut Shift plus C. Place the center of the circle here and as the diameter, type 60 millimeters. That is, press Tab, type 60, hit Enter. Next, select this area, press D and enter a length of extrusion. For example, 80 millimeters and press Enter. Now if we finish this command, we will have two separate solids. If you would like to join this extrusion with the previous part of the solid, press the Q key on the keyboard and select the solid you want to connect this extrusion to. Now press Enter and we have a single solid. Turn off the visibility of flat geometry. And now we will create the geometry based on which we will create the groove. To do this, set the side view. And we will draw a rectangle here with the first corner placed at this point. For now, this is a reference point. We will change the position of this rectangle shortly, but for now, the first point of the rectangle is placed here. We specify the dimensions of the rectangle. Press Tab, type 10 here, and for the other side, type, for example, 5 millimeters, and press Enter. Let's close the view on the construction plane and now based on this geometry we can create the groove. We can do this by first creating the solid of the groove and then defining the position of the groove or we can first define the position of the rectangle and then we can create the groove. I think at this moment it doesn't make much difference and we can start by creating the groove. But before we do that I will also add a copy of this solid and this geometry. Here in the outliner, holding the control key, I select these two geometries. Then I move the cursor to the workspace, press control C, control V, and I will change the position of these geometries so that a second copy of these geometries is created. For now, we will work on this solid. So, let's start by creating the geometry of the groove. I will temporarily hide this solid and select the area of the rectangle. Next, we choose the Revolve command. And here, we define the angle at which the groove is to be made, for example, 80 degrees. OK, now we define the axis relative to which the rotation will occur. We need to specify two points lying on this axis, and in this case, that axis coincides with the x-axis. So I can easily specify these two points and click OK. Now I turn off the visibility of this flat geometry and I will add fillers to the corners of this groove. I switch to edge selection, press the 2 key on the keyboard and holding the shift key I select the edges. Here we will add a radius of 5 millimeters. That is, I press D, then 5 and hit enter to confirm and enter again to finish. So we have two solids here. We have a cylindrical solid and a groove solid. Now we can define the position of this groove. We can activate the move command to move this groove. At this moment, this groove is selected. I press the G key and we can move it into the solid, for example, in the X axis minus 20 millimeters. That is, I press the X key, type minus 20 and press enter and enter again to finish. Now this groove is here and we can perform a subtraction operation. That is, we will subtract the groove solid from the cylindrical solid. 
To do this, I switch to solid selection, select the cylindrical solid and then holding the shift key, I select the groove solid, I press the Q key and here I select the keep tools option so that the groove solid is not deleted. I click OK. Now I turn off the visibility of the groove solid and we have created a groove in this solid. The groove solid was not deleted, we can create another groove based on this. I select this solid and activate the move command. I press the G key to define the specific position of this groove relative to this cylinder. OK. Next, we activate the rotate command. I press the R key to activate the rotate command, which allows us to define the rotation of the solid. And here, note that the rotation point is selected related to this solid. If we create a rotation here, it will not be executed correctly. For now, I will cancel that and do it again. The solid is selected, I press the R key to activate the rotate command. Now we need to change the pivot point. We can do this by pressing the V key on the keyboard and defining the pivot point. For example, the midpoint of this face. Now we can specify a specific value of rotation, for example, 60 degrees. OK. We press enter to confirm. Now we can apply the boolean operation again with the shift key. Select these two solids, activate the boolean operation, press the Q key on the keyboard, select keep tools here and click OK. And we have something like this. I select this solid, press the H key to hide this solid. This is how we can create grooves on a cylindrical part. In this case it was facilitated because this solid was linked to the coordinate system and we could utilize the X axis. In this case, we don't have the x-axis, but we can also deal with this easily. I will turn off the visibility of this solid, and here we will do it similarly by first creating the groove solid. To do this, we need to select the area of this rectangle. I switch to face selection. And now, as you can see, selecting this geometry is challenging because the solid obscures the area of the rectangle. Therefore, we will do it this way. We will temporarily turn off the visibility of the solid. We select this geometry and turn on the visibility of the solid. The rectangle area is selected and now we activate the revolve command. We can specify two points that will define the axis of rotation. We select the center of this face and select the second point lying on the auxiliary line that appeared here. And here we specify the rotation angle, for example 60 degrees. Hit enter and enter again to finish. We have created a groove and the further steps are executed the same way as in the case of the previous solid. We simply define the position of this groove relative to this solid, that is, we activate the move command. I press the G key to determine the specific position of this groove relative to this cylindrical part. OK. Next, we activate the rotate command. I press the R key, define the rotation point, hit V, select the center of this face and specify the specific angular position of this groove. And as you can see, we can create such grooves in an easy way. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to this channel.